The Kennedy Tapes is a book by Ernest R. May and Philip D. Zelikow that presents the transcripts of more than 23 hours of audio recordings made by President John F. Kennedy and his top advisors during the Cuban Missile Crisis. The recordings capture the deliberations of the Kennedy administration as they faced the threat of nuclear war with the Soviet Union. The book is divided into three parts. The first part, The Crisis Unfolds, covers the period from October 14 to 22, 1962, when the Kennedy administration learned of the Soviet deployment of nuclear missiles in Cuba. The second part, The Crisis Peaks, covers the period from October 22 to 27, when the Kennedy administration imposed a naval blockade of Cuba and demanded that the Soviets remove the missiles. The third part, The Crisis Recedes, covers the period from October 28 to 29, when the Soviets agreed to remove the missiles and the crisis came to an end. The Kennedy Tapes provides a unique and intimate look at one of the most dangerous moments in world history. The recordings reveal the human side of the crisis, as the Kennedy administration grappled with the difficult decisions that could have led to nuclear war. The book is a valuable resource for anyone interested in learning more about the Cuban Missile Crisis. In addition to the transcripts, the Kennedy tapes also includes commentary and analysis by May and Zelikow. The commentary provides context for the recordings and helps to explain the decisions made by the Kennedy administration. The analysis examines the lessons of the Cuban Missile Crisis for the future of nuclear deterrence. The Kennedy Tapes is a groundbreaking work of history that provides a definitive account of one of the most important events of the Cold War. The book is essential reading for anyone interested in understanding the Cuban Missile Crisis and its implication for international relations. Here are some of the key takeaways from the Kennedy Tapes. The Kennedy administration was divided on how to respond to the Soviet deployment of nuclear missiles in Cuba. Some advisors, such as Dean Rusk, favored a military strike against Cuba. Others, such as Robert Kennedy, argued for a more cautious approach. President Kennedy was ultimately responsible for the decision to impose a naval blockade of Cuba. He made this decision after carefully weighing the risks and benefits of each option. The Cuban Missile Crisis was a close call. The world came within a hair's breadth of nuclear war. The Cuban Missile Crisis led to a new understanding between the United States and the Soviet Union. The two countries agreed to a series of measures to reduce the risk of nuclear war. The Kennedy Tapes is a valuable resource for anyone interested in learning more about the Cuban Missile Crisis. The book is a reminder of the dangers of nuclear war and the importance of diplomacy in preventing it. I hope you like and subscribe to the channel, this is part of a series of books recommended by Noam Chomsky which you can find on the channel. Thank you.